Good morning. Welcome to Wikimania Esinolario. It has been three years that we are preparing for you and waiting for you. So we are really delighted uh, to welcome you here. So Wikipedia is not an ordinary encyclopedia and this is not an ordinary conference. What you're going to see here is probably a bit different and a bit surprising compared to other conferences. And we hope that this is a, a format or a, some suggestion or some ideas that maybe can continue in the future. What we think uh, that uh, is linked to Wikipedia and what we think that uh, uh, Esinolario bridges with uh, the Wikimedia community is the fact, of, of course, that this is a, a community-driven project. We are all volunteers here. Uh, we are all uh, volunteers, uh, we the organizer, but you also the participants. So we expect you uh, to be with us in organizing and managing this event and, of course, in enjoying it. But uh, furthermore, uh, what we try to uh, learn, share and exchange with the Wikimedia project is uh, the capacity and the possibility of uh, pushing the edit button. Sometimes we forgot that uh, modify things uh, using the edit button, this capacity we have to change uh, what we see online, but also can be learned and can be uh, developed also offline, is probably one of the most precious things we can uh, also teach outside our uh, online projects. And, uh, I think what, we, what you're going to see here in Esino, what you're going to hear also about the presentation is Esino, is really what we try to do. So push the edit button also in a village, also in a territory, and try to contribute to knowledge also in different ways, not only online. Um, it was a very big effort. We had uh, the great support of uh, Wikimedia Foundation when we were uh, selected as Wikimania, but uh, the contribution of Wikimedia Foundation was multiplied by seven. So it was really a domino effect uh, with an incredible energy. Of course, uh, this procedure of uh, looking for funds, uh, creating uh, networks, involving volunteers was really a large effort. And we'd like to thank all of the partners, all of the people involved, all of the people that also trusted a quite crazy project that we believe you're going to see it now in reality. A last thing I wanted to say is that about... <laughs> We sometimes hear about uh, uh, people from Esinolario and our guest. What I think is the magic of uh, this event, which is not a regular event, is our Wikimania, is that everyone can be a Wikipedian, everyone can be part of this community. So please do not consider people from Esinolario uh, your simple guest, but part of the community we are building and we try to enlarge. So thank you very much and welcome to Esinolario. <laughs> Welcome now, Jimmy Ways. Yay. Okay, very good. Um, well, here we are again. Uh, it's an amazing thing, and uh, I'm going to be making uh, really fairly brief remarks today. Uh, but uh, as usual, there's a few ceremonial things that I like to do. Um, and one of them that I always like to do, here we are uh, today at the 12th uh, Wikimania. Um, and obviously we've had Wikimania in many, many places all over the world. Um, and so I'd like to have everyone stand up who has been to all 12 Wikimanias. And there are a few of us. This is great. <laughs> There's a few around. But it's hard to get to all 12, and 
we should also recognize how many people have been to 11 Wikimanias? 11 or more. <laughs> 10 or more. Nine or more. Liam? Eight or more? That. Seven? Woo! Here they come. Six Wikimanias or more. A big milestone. How many of you have been to five Wikimanias? There's a big chunk of people. Four, three, two, and one. This is everyone. Woo! So in the past, we've held Wikimania in some of the great, uh, huge, big cities of the world. Uh, most recently, London, Mexico City. Uh, but we've been all around the world, but mostly in large cities. Uh, but unlike past Wikimanias, this year's conference has moved away from the metrop uh, metropolis and into the countryside. Uh, and like past conferences, Wikimania remains a community-driven event. Um, as they say, it takes a village. Um, and by the way, I hope there aren't any monuments in this photo, as Italian law makes things difficult in that case. Uh, but I wanted to commend the Italian community and chapter. They're doing really important and strategic work uh, to make progress in this area. Um, and I really thank them for all of those efforts. Uh, there's still a lot to be done. Um, I'm really enjoying being here uh, in Isino Lario. Uh, as m many of you probably know, I, I live in the UK. Uh, I'm about two and a half years from being able to get my UK citizenship and passport. And my dream has always been to retire in Italy by virtue of being a citizen of the EU. <laughs> Things may be more complicated now. I'll talk more about that later. Uh, I, let's take this opportunity to thank the Asino Lario organizing team, uh, including uh, Yolanda Pinza, uh, who's a member of Wikimedia Italia, <laughs> Wikimedia Switzerland. Where, where is she gone here? She's, don't see her here. Um, and many other international community members. Uh, we recognize that pulling off an event in a small alpine village is no small feat, uh, and so thank you for bringing Wikimania outdoors. To add a small personal note on this, just to show uh, a very wiki spirit in the organizers, when I came in this morning, I said, oh, I really, is there a podium I could have? And they said, oh, a po oh don't worry, and they made a podium in like five minutes. Uh, so thank you very much for that uh, wiki spirit of, if it doesn't exist, we'll make it as quickly as possible. Um, and then finally, let's have a big cheer and a big round of applause for the people of Isino Lario. You, you would normally say, you know, to, to, to the host city, uh, that you've welcomed us into your homes, but in this case, literally have welcomed us into their actual homes. Uh, and the warmth and support that so many people have felt um, is really quite inspiring. So thank you very much for having us here. So uh, many of you have been here for a couple of days uh, during the pre-conference hackathon. You have a nice picture of some hacking going on there. Um, exploring the town, uh, enjoying the mountain air. Uh, just so we know, as we kick off the main event, we're expecting around 1,000 people here this year from more than 60 different countries. So that 60 different countries is actually the main theme of my talk uh, this year. Um, and this is a, a slightly emotional moment here. <clears throat> so this is uh, my friend, uh, Joe Cox, um, who was uh, murdered last week, a member of parliament in the UK. Um, and after her death, there was a lot of tweeting, uh, quoting a statement of hers that's very meaningful, um, and a hashtag, more in common. And so one of the things she says, she says, this is a quote from her, while we celebrate our diverse, <coughs> I'm sorry, this is, I'll get, I'll get better in a minute. Um, while we celebrate our diversity, <coughs> 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 
What surprises me time and time again as I travel around is that we are far more united and have far more in common <clears throat> with each other than the things that divide us. This has been a very emotional uh, thing, but it caused me to reflect. <clears throat> It caused me to reflect on what's really magnificent about this community. Um, the world today, there's forces of anger and hate. Um, you know, yesterday, the UK voted to leave the EU. And whatever your position on that, it's a complex and legitimate policy question. I want to make clear that. It's not about what your position is on that particular issue. It's about the rhetoric around it that got to be so hateful and racist and divisive uh, that it arguably led to the death of Joe Cox. Our killer has specifically said uh, death to tyrants, Britain first, um, all these kinds of uh, you know, things. And he was wound up by very hateful rhetoric. Um, obviously, this hateful rhetoric is not an isolated phenomenon in today's world. S some people are all about building walls of division and hatred. Um, this is not our world. Uh, Wikipedia is about building bridges, not walls. Um, Wikipedia is a force for knowledge, and knowledge is a force for peace and understanding. This year's program focuses on Wikipedia as a driver for change, celebrating and investigating the impact Wikipedia has on the world. I can think of no better sign of our impact than people. Our community, yes, people. Our community is international, and we are in big cities and mountainside towns. We're in suburbia and in the desert, in a duplex, studio apartment, villa, barracks, brownstone, flat, chateau, bungalow, cottage, and in co-ops. I could go on. Uh, and Wikimania is our chance to come together in reality, to bring the faces of our community to one place. Um, we're from all around the world. We're from Bhutan. We're from Asinolaria. We're from Nigeria. Uh, we're from... Heliopolis, I'm not sure I'm pronouncing it wrong, Egypt, uh, like May Hakim, yay, <clears throat> who has brought her experience volunteering for three and a half years as a leader for the Wikipedia education program in Egypt to meet more influential people who will add to her experience and the way she contributes to free knowledge. There she is, hello. We're from South Africa, um, like Isla Hadal Flood, I'm sure I'm pronouncing that badly, who brought her motivation to contribute each day on Wikipedia, working to bring her continent's everyday realities, heritages, and cultures to a level comparable to that of developed countries. So, uh, is she here to stand up? No, not here. Uh, and then we have uh, Jane Darnell. So, one of the great things as I was preparing this is I was, I was looking uh, to figure out where people are from because that's the point of this little section. And it's actually very hard. Many Wikipedians are very clear about what they're working on. It doesn't occur to them to tell us where they're from. Uh, Jane, I, you might be from the UK, but you write a lot about the Netherlands and it's wonderful. And, and the, the one thing about uh, Jane that I think is really amazing, here we are way up in this Alpine village and I was driving up a couple of days ago, and I saw this uh, cyclist, and I wasn't paying much attention. I was actually, I was going down to, 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 the, to the look at the lake, and then I saw a cyclist, and I said, wow, ooh, that's a tough ride up that hill. 30 minutes later, I'm coming up here, and I'm like, oh, wow, there she is. She's gone a long way very quickly, and she's got a Wikipedia bag. <laughs> and so I said, who is that woman? That's amazing. So she's, she's uh, on 12 bicycles. So, amazing. Um, six. Six bicycles, sorry. Um, so, we're from Bulgaria, like Vasya Atanasova. My pronunciation is terrible. And she's here. And on, on Sunday, uh, she'll be celebrating uh, the 10th anniversary of her first edit of a Wikipedia article. So, congratulations for that. Happy anniversary. Uh, we're from the United States, like Jason Moore, who is once again coordinating Wiki Loves Pride. Um, fantastic. I don't know if Jason is here. So, 
in this theme uh, of how diverse our community is, we're from all over the world, we're from many different belief systems, but we all come together in a peaceful effort to share knowledge with everyone. And as a part of this, one of the things that we're focusing on, uh, and many in the community are very passionate about this, is the question of harassment. Uh, harassment of, of us, of people on our website. Uh, generally by outsiders, I, I always think if, if somebody is actually harassing another person, I don't think that person is actually a Wikipedian. Uh, you, yes, you, 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 lose that, you lose that honorary title. And this is an issue that I think has been building and growing in the community. We've been increasingly concerned about it. Uh, I think it's partly because we see um, how bad communities can be all around the world and how divisive and dangerous it is to allow for ongoing harassing behavior. Two years ago at Wikimania in London, I was actually caught by surprise. I was making some comments about this, and I got a huge round of applause when I said something that I thought might be controversial. Uh, this is what I said. I said, this is a tough one, but my view is very simple. Most of these editors, I was talking about particular editors who are more trouble than they're worth, um, should be encouraged to leave. Um, and the idea here is uh, one of the things that we must do in order to preserve our, uh, our atmosphere of cooperation, harmony, and peace the voices of anger and hatred, um, we have to, well, as usual, because we're Wikipedians, the first thing we do is to try to help them calm down and help them see a way to do better work. But ultimately, if they don't, we cannot let them dominate our community. This is very important. <laughs> I encourage everyone to take a look at the, uh, the Inspire campaign that's going on right now. Uh, here's the URL, which you can find on Meta. Uh, probably most of you have seen this or know where to find it. Uh, people are putting forward proposals for how to deal with uh, these kinds of community issues and problems. Um, if you go and you read the proposals, it's actually sort of amusing uh, because some of them are written by trolls. Um, that's okay, they can propose their ideas, uh, but we need to really be thoughtful and think through all of these things to say, how can we make sure that the spirit that we all feel here in this room at Wikimania, uh, a spirit of kindness, love, cooperation, uh, really trying to make the world a better place, trying to be the one place, the, the major place online, where if you want information, you can come to us and get a calm explanation of the facts, not rhetoric, not uh, hateful uh, lies, uh, the things that we're hearing from other parts of the media, the things we're hearing from politicians. We are, uh, in many ways, uh, the, the key alternative to that. So again, in this spirit, uh, this year's Wikipedian of the Year Award. So this is, as you know, is an award that I give out um, every year. Um, it is so far still uh, my personal choice. I do get advice from people. Uh, it is my wish in the long run, and I say this every year, but we never quite seem to do anything about it, uh, that I shouldn't be personally responsible for this, but that in fact there should be some kind of a, a process. Uh, but it's very hard to have a process because we don't have a big fight about who's the Wikipedia of the Year on the wiki or anything like that. Um, so I try to be thoughtful and I try to recognize people who represent some different kind of portion of our community. And in the past, I've tended to go uh, with people who are facing uh, difficulties. Uh, they're, they're courageous people who are working uh, in the face of uh, persecution and threats to freedom of expression. Or I've given uh, the award to people who've done amazing work um, helping in uh, grow Wikipedia in languages of the developing world. Uh, and this year, along the theme of uh, combating harassment, of including people, of thinking about diversity in the community, uh, there are actually two co-awardees this year um, who have worked together closely. Uh, the first is the very famous Emily Temple Wood. User Kailana also known as E.T. Dubs. Um, and the second is Rosie Stevenson Goodnight. And I believe that Rosie is here. Rosie, could you come on stage? It's unfortunate that Emily is not here. Um, no one knows in advance because I make up my mind the night before um, who's going to be named. So uh, uh, I'm sure if Emily knew she was going to be named, she would have made every effort to come. Um, so while she's coming up, just a few highlights of their work. Uh, Rosie was a founding member of uh, the, the Tea House and the Women in Red campaign. She also recently gave the keynote in the Wikimedia Diversity Conference. She's created over 3,000 plus articles 
uh, 1,300 of which are Did You Knows. <laughs> Rosie and Emily were among the founding members of the Wiki Women's User Group. Uh, Emily has created nearly 400 articles and improved hundreds of others focusing on female scientists and LGBT plus and women's health. According to Rosie, uh, Emily is the poster child of the efforts to address Wikipedia's scientific gender gap. It's fantastic work. One of the great things, uh, Emily got some wonderful press coverage because she says that for every harassing email she gets, she vows to create a new article about a woman scientist, which is, I think, a fantastic idea. So thank you very much. Congratulations. Right. Uh, we've got a couple of runner-ups. Um, uh, this is uh, one I feel is actually a long time coming. Uh, I didn't have a picture, but um, uh, Marta Tanaha from Iran, who is here. I've just seen him. Uh, he took this photo. So when I, when I threw this up, he was probably the only person in the room who actually recognized it. He took this photo for Wikipedia 15 uh, in Tehran. Uh, he started the Farsi language branch of the Wikipedia library, and despite several ob obstacles, found three publishers to donate research access to Wikipedians. He's unceasing and persistent, going above and beyond his interests and hobbies to benefit the mission. So congratulations. And is he here? I'm, I'm sure he's here at Wikimania, but perhaps not in the room. Next, uh, Vas Vasya Anatasova from Bulgaria. So Vasya started the 100 Wiki Days Challenge, which engaged many new and long-term editors alike to, cre to create one article a day for 100 straight days. The 100 Wiki Days Challenge took place on more than 40 different uh, projects. So congratulations as well to Vasya. So I've got a few introductions to make. Um, just um, at this uh, board meeting, we've, uh, uh, we've had the, the joining uh, by two new members of the board um, who I'd like to, to have stand up now. Uh, Christoph Henner, who I saw back here somewhere. Where is Christoph? Oh, there he is, here in the middle. Um, Christoph is, is well known to many of you. He's been around the movement forever, uh, 10 years uh, with Wikimedia France, I believe. Uh, and he's just joined the board yesterday. Um, and in a, a, an astonishingly fast rise to the top, has also been named chair of the board. Uh, and then uh, also Natalia Timkiv uh, joined the board yesterday. Is she here, Natalia? Oh, there she is, right in front of me. Great. So these are our two newest board members, and only um, as I was walking on stage, I actually remembered these two in front, because this is your first Wikimania, is that right, for both of you? No? Okay, well, Guy, everybody met him last year. <laughs> Kelly, this is Kelly's uh, first Wikimania. I didn't think of her, because she's been on the board for a little while. Kelly, if you could stand up. Um, and then, uh, next I want to introduce you to, speaking of, of good people, um, I want to introduce uh, Catherine Marr, the Interim Executive Director of the Wikimedia Foundation, who leads our community from San Francisco. <laughs> Catherine uh, has been a steady force of leadership and joy and commitment to Wikimedia values since joining the Foundation in 2014. Uh, she's been a long-time advocate, even before joining us, of global open communities. Um, as you probably uh, are aware, she has been our head of communications uh, before she took on the uh, executive director role. Uh, and she has, and I've worked with her closely in that role because that's obviously what, uh, a lot of what I'm doing. Catherine is something that many in the tech world find easy to lose, um, what I call intuitive empathy. She truly understands that our community is about people and that people come before technology. She fosters the human connection through communication and astute governance. Uh, she has, as I said, she's recently been serving as interim ED, but I have a big, big announcement that yesterday in our board meeting, in a unanimous vote, we've appointed Catherine as ED of the Wikimedia Foundation. <laughs> This ended her, yeah, come on up, come on up, Catherine.
So this ended her time as interim. Uh, it ended our search for an executive director. Um, so this was actually not just a surprise decision to all of you. It was a surprise decision to those of us on the board. Uh, we, we came into the meeting. Uh, we heard a report from the, uh, the staff engagement survey. We had all been talking to staff. The, the level of uh, turnaround um, at the Wikimedia Foundation in terms of their level of uh, engagement, excitement, uh, positive feelings about coming to work every day has been as absolutely astonishing uh, since Catherine took the reins. Uh, and we all sort of looked at each other in the board meeting uh, as we were meeting to discuss the executive search and we were sort of like, what are we looking for exactly? Like, <laughs> here we are, this is what we wanted all along. So here's Catherine. Hi everyone. So that's all from me for now, um, and we can carry on. Uh, Wikimania, hooray! <laughs> Thank you.